get my popola for. Hi guys, welcome to Hotspot 233 channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. Also, hit the bell button to get notifications on our subsequent videos. Today, we'll be looking at juvenile boxing in Ghana. In Ghana, boxing is second only to football in terms of popular sports. Ghana is one of the countries that has produced many international boxing champions. Ghana has won more boxing world titles than any other African country in the history of boxing. David Kote Poison, aka DK Poison, was the first Ghanaian to win a world boxing championship. Followed by Azuma Nelson, aka Professor Zoom Zoom Nelson, Nanaya Konedu, Ike Bazooka Kwote, and subsequently several others. Amateur boxing started as far back as the beginning of the 20th century. Most of Ghana's top boxers are from the Ghana tribe in the Accra metropolis. There are over 50 boxing clubs in Ghana, majority of which are situated in the heart of Gamashin. Boxing has accounted for three of Ghana's four Olympic medals. There is the notion that genetics creates champions in the ring in this tiny section of Accra. Perhaps this could be attributed to the robust boxing culture in Gamashin. According to three-time world champion and boxing hall of famer Azuma Nelson, fisticuffs are not discouraged in Jamestown and its immediate surrounding. They are a way of life. The professor, as he is known, is one of Ghana's six world champions, five of whom hail from Jamestown. Aikwati, who held the WBA Welterweight Championship between 2000 and 2005, is one of them. All of Ghana's past world champions, apart from DK Poison, were products of Ghana amateur boxing. A boxing gym with locally produced weights and dumbbells can be found just about anywhere in Jamestown, Bukom and its environs in the Accra metropolis. The success stories of these boxing grades cannot be told without taking a critical look at juvenile boxing in Ghana. Professionally, juvenile boxing is still in its early stages in Ghana, and there is a lot to be done to facelift this aspect of boxing, which has served as the springboard to the success of many Ghanaian world boxing champions. Sports has always been a preferred hobby or leisure activity for children all over the world, and it is a fantastic way to pass time between breaks, after school, on weekends, and during vacations. Children box for a variety of reasons, and they should be permitted to stay in school and participate in the sports they enjoy. Boxing as a type of sport is also a viable career option for young people in Ghana, especially the people of Gamashi. Unfortunately, juvenile boxing hasn't been encouraged enough and included in sporting or extracurricular activities of basic schools in Ghana. The establishment of the ultra-modern Bukum Boxing Arena means that a lot of juvenile and amateur boxers, as well as boxing fanatics within Gamashi, may earn a livelihood from boxing locally. Even if they do not make it to the dazzling lights of Las Vegas, pugilism is a ticket out of Bukum, Jamestown and its surrounding environs. A ticket away from poverty, unemployment, and a lack of opportunities. It's also a method to redirect young people's energies away from vices. The Hotspot 233 crew took a trip to Jamestown, Buko and its environs, to witness juvenile boxing at its best. Children of all ages were seen fiercely sparring, and one could hear the forceful vibrations of these young boxers in the ring and on the floor. The colors, textures, people, faces, and craftsmanship were all extremely appealing on the aesthetic level. Through interaction with some coaches, we learned that boxing is not seen as a sport that people should participate in. But I think you know, the people have been encouraged to join the game. So we have a, a lot of young women that is actually into the game. In terms of recruitment, most of the people have been brought by their parents. Yeah. And a couple of them also, we normally do the recruitment. You know, we normally give them to participate or we fight among themselves. But we can choose between who has the passion and who don't actually have to participate most. So that is one key that we need to put to gain our I think a lot of people should be encouraged to join the game. A lot of young kids should be encouraged to join the game because from the look of things, you know, what is actually like people are not really encouraging their kids to participate of private box. But I think what is a good game and when people are encouraged to join it, we actually you know, generate a lot of young in the nation. Well, we have 
know, a couple of people in the community who have actually been supporting. Um, they, they normally buy us boxing equipment, some of them are you know, support us financially through monetary means. Yeah. So those are the ways we use to finance the kids. The majority of the, or probably one of the challenges we actually face in this year. Most of the kids that come to the gym come on their own. So the parents have actually not been supported. So with these kids, you have to buy them equipment. Probably some of them, you have to feed them in like they should do it. So I think the parents should show interest. Or probably some of their family members should show interest. Because boxing is a good game that I can actually have with this. Family should show interest. They should invest into boxing. Or like into juvenile boxing. Because boxing is a way that people have actually used to have like, educate for in their family. You have the likes of Ivorte, Azuma Nelson, Jessica Forte, who actually box. And by the grace of God, they are doing quite well. But I believe when a lot of investment in, is put into boxing, it can eradicate poverty in the lives of many people in the nation. Always the kids out there is strong. If you are there and you want to do boxing, boxing is a good game. That I can actually encourage everybody to join. And the parents that are actually watching, I encourage all of you, you know, to support your kids. If you have a child who really wants to box, you can bring them, you can find a nearby gym, or probably you can bring them to support child boxing gym academy. So that they can be teach or they can be, you know, they, they, they can be taught on how to box. I believe it will help them in the future. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Catch us on our next video. Bye.